Alright, it's looking like we've got volume now. Anybody in the chat confirm on that? Uh, I am seeing volume coming through. It looks good to me. Um, at least as far as I know. Anybody in the chat? Got info on whether or not I'm gonna say that we have volume going. Oh, fantastic. So, oh man. Perfect, perfect, it's working, awesome. All right, everybody, uh, welcome back to Aquinas Esports. Sorry about the technical difficulties there. Um, as usual, uh, I am Vapor C7, Aquinas We are seeing too much action to get in the intro there. Oh, dropping very nice. It wasn't enough to do much damage there, unfortunately, but still in there on the vault. Oh man, and that is a team wipe, I believe. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Yeah. Obra, um, or not Obra, uh, Benzing is, uh, unfortunately not able to make it today. We are on fall break, and, uh, so I was the only caster available for today, so I'm doing this solo. It's my first time running the, uh, the, the stream tech and everything on my own, so apologies again about that, uh, Ronnie, little, little thing there, but, yeah. Um, it is, oh, man, oh, shut down on that ult, and, yep, that is the best thing he can do, Zanicello backing away from the combat, especially those brands still taken out by the Doomfist. Um, I was uh, curious as to whether or not we would see a lot of uh, variation with the new patch. Um, a lot of people were saying the new patch would be the death of... Oh, we're playing Kabara now. Interesting. Um, it's looking to be needling away. I don't know a little bit of damage from above. Um, it's still not great, though. Seeing around back, but they got caught there. Yeah, people were saying that uh, the new patch was going to be the death of the uh, double shield meta, and it is not looking like that. Both teams playing Orisa and the Sigma. Uh, oh. Oh, man. They are holding this point, though, really good to, uh, to take that back from Gamancella in the back. Um, interesting. Still staying alive, but oh, well, that Meteor Strike is going to take him down. There's another team went right there near in overtime. It's not going to be enough to take it back. That's rough. Yeah, so that is their second match out of that. Um, I believe it is best two out of three for maps. I believe that's what the luck is. It's what it's been in the past. So uh, check out this little game by the uh, Trying to reverse these reasons. Fantastic. It's a, it's a big joke here on, on the Aquinas Overwatch uh, team. Just click heads. <laughs> Keep that going. But yeah, fantastic. Oh, good, good, good. Awesome. Yep, so let's see. They are going to be picking a new map. We're not actually taking off, but we are in the middle of getting a new graphic for uh, just a temporary break um, in the video. But here, let's see if I can. I uh, saw one or two people saying that it was a little quiet. How about, what about that? This might be helping it a little bit, or just moving the mic closer to me. Honestly, that might help. Um, yeah, so today we are playing uh, Trine University. Um, I'm not quite sure where that is. Yeah, gotcha. All right, I am going to figure that out. What about this? Is that a little bit better? A little better on the mic volume? Uh, it's my first day running all of the tech on my own. Normally Benzing is here and he's a little bit a uh, little bit more knowledgeable in that, but running it solo today, so learning learning to run everything on my own. Awesome, fantastic. Frodo Slayer, seeing you again in the chats. It is very good to uh, have have our regulars. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, fantastic. So. I am just waiting on the teams to pick. It's looking like the next pick for maps is going to be Eichenwald. Too loud. <laughs> 
Awesome. Let's take that down a little. How about now? <laughs> it's good. It's good. We're figuring this out all uh, as a as a team here. <laughs> Perfect. And you know what? I may turn it down just another touch because I tend to get a little bit louder during the games. <laughs> Fantastic. Awesome. So we are still waiting on them. I think Trine University is making a switch or two on their players. Um, not certain on that, but yeah, we are... Today, um, our lineup that we're running is uh, Obra, Skyhawk, Druid is Fluid, Gamoncella, Dragon Keeper, and C. Cheney. Um, we saw, well, we're seeing some new, uh, some, some new comp, basically. I mean, the, the new patch has made things pretty interesting, um, especially with, uh, <laughs> especially with, uh, I don't know, nerfing uh, both Orisa and Sigma, which are defining the meta right now. It's looking like I'm right. We are going back into Eichenwald, and I'm going to peek around. Yeah, but we're also seeing um, some hit scan being played. Uh, it's it's real interesting, actually. I'm excited. A um, little bit of Tracer, uh, some McCree being played. Obra has some insane tracking, and it's really really something to watch him to watch him uh click heads <laughs> here we are we are getting right back in fantastic all right and let's see what our team has for us for team comp now Cheney running Baptiste on support. Interesting. All right. Um, we have Skyhawk running a Bastion. That is the cam that I want to be on. That is going to be interesting. <laughs> awesome. But otherwise, we've got an Orisa and a Sigma still. As I've said, that's uh, interesting. Um, people were saying that Double Shield meta would be dead, but it is obviously not. Um, both teams are still running it. Uh, Obra on Symmetra. I've always enjoyed watching Overplay some Symmetra. Um, let's see how this goes. They are not going to hold him at the first choke and instead are backing up to the payload. And that's going to be unique to watch, certainly. Um, now we're just playing the waiting game, waiting for him to pop up, and there they are on both sides. Enemy has a Genji and a Risa, a Roadhog, I believe I saw out there. Is that a, is that a Brigette? That is my main, and I am excited to see her being played. Fantastic. We need to get on the different cam because they are down there and active. Oh, Dragon Keeper taken out by the Brig. Very nice. Um... Cheney as Baptiste, keeping people alive, nice immortality feel. Oof, and not enough though. Gamoncella getting in there and being active as Moira, but that again is a team wipe right there. Very rough, but Obra is still alive, and where is he at? Did I miss his cam? No, I did not. He is out of the action now. Gamoncello waiting a little bit so the team isn't trickling too violently. Here we are, though. Trine University playing a Genji. Um, interesting to see. Especially people who can play good Genjis are very good. But is that... Yup, Widowmaker. Obra trying to counter hit scan the Widowmaker and being uh, attacked here. Oh man, that is a lot. This match is happening very quickly. Um, interesting to see some wall riding on the Lucio. Always good. Always a sign of high level play in a Lucio is doing a lot of wall riding. Um, this Orisa is staying alive. Um, keeping the match going. And that rig is competitive. I'm trying to see what skin she has. <laughs> Ooh, and the Roadhog popping off her with an ult there. But Gamoncella is Moira tickling. Um, Moira's uh, 
alt fire, whatever that's called, we all we all just refer to it as the tickle, um, has been nerfed, uh, unfortunately. Um, let's see. That Widowmaker is tearing things apart. Obra, come on. Quick heads, let's see it. Oh. And Druid is fluid as a solid Orisa, as always, but still being taken down. Trine University is a force to be reckoned with right now. We are going to see that payload probably touch the door. And from then, we're going to move to the final choke point of the match. There we are. They just got it. Oof. Watching Dragon Keeper uh, bounce those, those orbs, they grab the orbs. Oh man, they are in there. The team has been practicing uh, all day today and all day yesterday. Testing out some new comps. Um, it appears we're still running the regular stuff, but we see Skyhawk on Reaper now. I had not noticed he had made the switch. Man, that widow, that Widowmaker is a brutal. Oh, but sniped out of there. Man, enemy Mora, and they are pushing it right into the throne area. This is very rough, very aggressive push, very fast, and that is going to be round one complete to Trine University. Fantastic point and click adventure. <laughs> Clickheads. Oh, Trine is in Indiana. Thank you, Frodo. Awesome. Um, yeah, the Tracer buff is nice. Jack Garrison. Um, peeking around at uh, the chat, I had... No, wait, this isn't PUBG. Very nice. Um, yes, so... Uh, we are seeing some interesting play, and now we're going to switch, and... Our uh, Aquinas team is going to have the chance to go on the offensive here. Hopefully they can push it to the end faster than Trine did, because that was insanely fast. That was an aggressive push. Um, I'm not quite sure why they didn't hold it at the first choke there, but, you know, that's their choice with the Bastion. Um, especially uh, Skyhawk playing Bastion in the beginning there. Very interesting. Um... It's looking like Dragon Keeper has switched to Reinhardt, and we have seen Dragon Keeper play almost exclusively Sigma this season. Um, very interesting. Uh, I have played a few matches with him, and I, I have seen him practicing Reinhardt recently, so maybe this is um, something that we're going to see. I don't know what uh, if Reinhardt was affected very much by the uh, by the the buffs and nerfs that came out. Um, but we will see whether this is competitive or not. Um, Gamancella looking at the uh, Miner's Helmet there. Very nice. Awesome. Let's get out there. Over moving. Or no, this is Skyhawk. Sorry, I, I saw Symmetra and I assumed over. But Skyhawk playing Symmetra. Moving around to the side here. It's looking like Trine is waiting at the first choke for them. Um, ooh. Oh, there we go. Very nice movement. Whole team through the teleporter. Excellent move there. Um, that is going to speed them up. Very nice. Druid is fluid, taking out that immortality field, keeping the pressure on. A nice halt to pull them all together, clump them so the team can move. Over taken down as Reaper. Oh, Skyhawk taken down as Symmetra. We still have Druid's Fluid active, but he has also been taken down. It, there was a Moira in that firefight as well. Um, perfect. Dragon Keeper just hanging out here, waiting for the trickle as the team comes back in. Here we are, everybody moving back in. Love that uh, that that uh, that Egyptian Pharaoh skin on uh, on Arisa. Here we are. Lots of pressure being put on that shield. I think that was a Baptiste ult by the uh, other team. So any damage coming through is now coming through at twice as heavy. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Dragon Keeper trying to put pressure on that Reaper, but the Reaper pushing right back, keeping the team down. And now would be a great time for another... Uh, Another Symmetra move with the teleporter. Something solid to pull him through. Oh, and Obra back to Doomfist. Here we are. His classic, what he knows. This is solid. Let's see if we can 
Get some interesting stuff. Doomfist did have a slight nerf in the newest patch uh, with his Rocket Fist taking, I think, half a second to a second longer to charge to full. Um, very nice. Getting in there, dealing some damage. Roadhog with the uh, orb on him, though, is forced to be reckoned with and ulting in there. Oh, and trying to push him past the choke, and Druid almost took out that Symmetra. Shaney up here, jumping into the fray as Lucio. Very interesting, but wall riding, trying to keep himself alive, waiting for his team to get back in. Very fast movement um, on the mouse. High sensitivity. Good to see. Alright, waiting for the trickle again. Keep your Reinhardt alive. Gamoncello, let's do this. Alright, the whole team is here with an Orisa shield out there. We can do a solid push. Oh, through the healing orb at the enemy team on accident. I believe that was an accident there. Over on Farah. We're seeing a lot of switches today, um, which is good to match the other team's meta, but I'm wondering how much that affects their ult charge, how much um, they're going to be able to keep the pressure on that way, because what is going to push them past this choke is good ult usage. We have three ults ready, four ults ready now. Oof. And that is two down. The Trine University Reaper is just very competitive play. I think we are looking close to an over alt. I want to see some of these alts being used. Let's try and catch some of those. Oof. Symmetra turret's right on the outside. Gotcha. Come on, guys. Now is the time to pop these alts. We have 10 seconds left. Pop it. There we go. Let's see some more. Oh, but they could not make it to the point on time to send it into overtime and then possibly pull it back. Very interesting there. Um, I believe that is our two out of three um, to try. Yeah, so let me double check. Um with the coaches real quick to make sure that that is uh, it for the Overwatch. Um, actually, you know what? It is uh, looking all of the team members have left. Um, so, guys, yeah. it was a rough match today. Um, our team is, uh, especially with the new patch coming through, um, really trying to find their place with uh, their heroes and things like that. Um, I've played with a few of them. I have been uh, at the practices um, all, all this fall break, uh, our team has been in the esports lab uh, for a considerable amount of hours um, practicing different comps and things like that. And so hopefully uh, by the end of the week, um, Saturday, I believe, is our uh, next game. Saturday at 11 a.m. Let me double check on that because this Gleck match was actually rescheduled from last Saturday. Um... It is looking like our next one is Saturday the 19th at 11 a.m. Um, I for sure will be casting for that one, and hopefully Benzing will be back um, so we can give you guys some more full commentary. <laughs> um, everybody, thank you for uh, tuning in for Aquinas Esports um, Overwatch. Uh, I am Vaporous T72. Thank you guys all so much. Um, always great to see... Uh, people recurring in the chat and stuff like that but thanks for popping in everybody have a great day